Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University. Welcome! In this lesson we are going to cover can activate router guards. It's coming right up. In this lesson we are going to add some more security related functionality to our application. So what we would like to do is the following. Let's say that we are unauthenticated, we have not yet logged in and we click on a lesson. Right now we can see the lesson. The functionality that we would like to add is we should only be able to see the lesson if we are already authenticated. Otherwise we should be redirected to the login page. The way that we implement this is with a can activate router guard and that's what we're going to do. In the security folder we are going to create here a new file and we are going to call it authenticationguard.ts. The router guard is just a class but it needs to implement a specific interface provided by the router which is the can activate interface. The can activate interface has the can activate method which takes a couple of arguments so it takes the activated route snapshot and it takes also a snapshot of the whole router, it takes also a snapshot of the whole router state and then it returns either an observable or a promise of boolean. Actually we can also return a synchronous value but in this case we are going to return an observable of boolean. Before implementing the can activate method let's make the router guard an injectable and let's add it also in the providers list of the application module. Now that the route guard is an injectable, we can inject in the constructor any dependencies that we might need for our implementation. So in this case, we are going to need the authentication service. And because we want to redirect to the login page if the user is not authenticated, we are going to need also the router. Let's now implement the can activate logic. So we have here the authentication service which gives us an observable, the of info dollar observable. This observable gives us value an object of of info which has a boolean flag that says if the user is logged in or not. So the value that is emitted by of info is of type of info. And here we have a method is logged in. So right now we already have here at this moment an observable of boolean because we have taken an observable of type of info and we have mapped it to a boolean. Now route guards when returning an observable they need to make sure that the observable completes otherwise the routing transition will not finish. In this case we are going to make sure that the observable is completed by using the take one operator instead of first. So it's basically equivalent. We are going to return this as an observable. So this implementation here would already work. It would already give or deny access to the lesson detail view depending on the authentication status of the user. But we also want to take action concerning that state. So if the user is not allowed to access this screen, we're going to add here some logic which says in this case we should navigate to the login page and we're going to do that using this navigation API. Now how do we use this authentication guard? We need to go to the router configuration and to the parts of the application that we want to protect with this guard. In this case the path to the lesson detail component, we're going to add here in the can activate array, we're going to add here a list of guards. In this case, we only have one guard, which is the authentication guard. And with this, our route guard is configured. Let's now try this out. Currently, we are not authenticated. So let's try to access the course detail. If we go here to this view and now we click in lesson, we are being redirected to the login screen as expected. Now let's authenticate. Now that we are authenticated, let's try again to access a lesson. This time we are granted access to the lesson, so the route guard is working as expected. Remember, the route guard does not give true security in the sense that this is all front-end code running in the browser that could be easily overridden. If the data in this page is supposed to be only accessible to authenticated users, you also have to implement that protection logic, that security logic, 
in the back end as well because remember everything that you put in terms of security on the front end can be bypassed so remember that the router guard that we saw here the off guard this is really more for user experience purposes this is more for implementing business logic requirements that relate to security such as for example the redirect to the login page etc this does not ensure security of the data so it's very important to also protect the data in your backend services.